welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, Found Her Burner Phone. And guys, this story is all about a guy, he's been married for, uh, I'm not sure how long he's been married, but married long enough to his wife that, you know, he thought he had something good going. A long story short, he was recently checking out his Wi-Fi and the uh, different devices attached to it and saw there was something there that didn't make sense, an extra phone. And you're going to see after doing some digging, well, that led down a path to find out that his wife is cheating. And uh, now he is definitely handled like a boss behind the scenes while she's thinking, you know, we're going to work on the marriage. That'll be a very good one to go over here, guys, once again to show you. You ought to pay attention to the red flags. And in the story, this guy makes it clear he thought he had a really good marriage, and there were no red flags. And if there's anything you can take out of this story, let me tell you, it is pay attention to your Wi-Fi app to see what devices are on there because if things don't match up, you gotta do some investigating. Don't don't jump to the wrong, don't don't jump to any, any crazy conclusions immediately, but really do your homework and, and see what's there because it's, it's just something a lot of guys wouldn't think about there. And, of course, how you can't be married to someone that's a cheater, a liar, deceiver, all that. It's not going to work. But you'll see this guy, he handles it right, in my opinion, and we can certainly wish him the best. He says, a while back, we switched internet providers, and our new modem came with an app to manage the network and connections. It was unreal how many devices we had connected to the Wi-Fi. I was, pl I was playing in the app one night and noticed an Android device slash phone. We both have Apple devices. How interesting. At first, I thought someone had guessed our Wi-Fi password, so I changed our passwords, but it came back a few days later. I was working from home one day and noticed the Android phone disappeared with my wife Cindy, went to work, and when she got home that evening, the Android device returned. Well, we know what that means. She's got a second phone. And why does she have a second phone that you don't know about? Oh, it must be for work. No, because you would know about that too. I finally got a chance to look through her car and later her purse, but came up empty. That night, while she was in the shower, I went through her gym bag and finally found it tucked away in her briefcase. I didn't have time to try it out and look through it, so I put it back. The next time she went to the gym, <clears throat> I went to look through it, but it was gone. The next night, I found it again in the briefcase. This time, I took it and tried to unlock it, but none of the old passwords would work. Now, why is she having a separate phone? Why does anybody have a second phone that their girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse doesn't know about? Well, usually it's because they're up to no good. And how amazing that, thank the Lord, he got this <clears throat> new modem and was checking the app and seeing what devices were attached and saw this. If he didn't do that, she'd be pulling this shit forever. It's a good lesson there about that, guys. Check, check your Wi-Fi app. See who, what, what devices are on there. So I decided to take the phone to a repair place down the street to see if they could unlock it. I had to confess to the technician the real reason for wanting to get into the phone, as I am a lame liar. And he felt sorry for me, so I guess, so I guess. and about an hour later he called me and said he was finished. Man, this guy deserves a good six-pack. He backed everything up to a thumb drive that I read, and when I got back home, I saw all the pictures and text between her and, wait for it, two different guys over the last nine months, including graphic discussions about their hookups. This poor bastard. I don't know how long he's been married or how old he is, but obviously married her enough. And by the way, one guy is enough for her. She has two guys and all the details, all the pictures and all that. Well, we're not done yet. Wait till you see what happens when he confronts her. He says, six years of marriage up in smoke. I thought I was having a heart attack as I couldn't breathe and just sat there at the computer staring at it all. I got better about after an hour and guessed it was just a panic attack. Bro, it's warranted. Because <clears throat> obviously this guy never saw it coming. Think about that, guys. You think everything's going great, right? You're on cloud nine. My life is great. I'm moving up my career. Got a nice house, nice car. Money's building up in the accounts. My wife and I are happy. And then you find out something like this. That's usually how it goes. So when Cindy got home, she was very anxious. She wandered around the house, obviously looking for her phone. I asked if she was okay, and she said, oh, she lost some papers from work and need to find them. I offered to help her, but she said she'd find them. I got her back in the kitchen and pulled the burner phone out and asked, 
Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> Imagine her like rummaging through the house and everything like she's like she's ransacking the place, freaking out, and he can see her being more panicked as she goes around the house. He's just sitting there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Is this what you're looking for? There was a deer in the headlights look on her face and panic starting to rise. I said there could only be one reason why you have a second phone in your briefcase. And I asked if she was cheating on me, which she denied. Oh my god, of course. I said fine, then give me the password so I can go see for myself what's on it. She tried to turn around on me and say that I was invading her privacy. Of course. Every time. All this shit's in the hobag handbook. So I handed her phone. I handed back her the phone and said her response just proved my suspicions. I sat down on the couch and felt a hot flash once again and started to cry a little bit. When she saw the tears, she softened and said it was only once, and she felt so guilty about it and cut things off. Well, I get he's breaking apart inside, but don't let him see you cry. But you hear that? Oh, how nice of you. Only one time, and she broke it off because she felt so guilty. How interesting, because I have proof. It's been going on for nine fucking months. I opened up the file on my tablet and handed it to her and asked, Only once? She kept saying she was, wait for it, so sorry. That it wasn't my fault and that she wants to stay together. Well, of course she wants to stay together. Why would she disrupt... She's got the cake and eat it too situation here. Got the husband, got the house, got the marriage. And she gets to have not one but two lovers on the side. Why Why would she want to break this up? I said, I need some space to think and we need to separate while I decided how to move forward. She disagreed and said, we need to talk it out. So I started asking some questions. Who the fuck does she think she is? She gets to dictate what's going to happen here. His questions were, number one. Are, are the guys married? Number two, are they co-workers? Number three, how did they meet? Four, where did they hook up? Five, what kind of SCX did they have? There ain't no way you're getting an answer to all that. Six, what did she do with them that she hasn't done with me? You ain't getting an answer to that one. Seven, were they bigger than me? Well, she might tell you that. Eight, did she use protection? Uh... She finally said enough. She couldn't do this anymore. She asked how long I had known. I said I found the phone a week ago, but didn't see what was on it until today. I said I was still in shock and needed time to process it all. She agreed to spend the rest of the week at her sister's house and we could talk more this weekend. Uh, bitch, we'll talk when I want to talk. Or I won't talk. She wants to schedule a session with a marriage counselor next week, and I agreed to that. I didn't tell her I'd be consulting an attorney tomorrow to get an idea of my options. In other words, our guy here is not serious about marriage counseling. He's just saying this to shut her up while he then does things behind the scenes. So already, marriage counselor. What's a marriage counselor going to do? I mean, really. She's a liar. She's a cheater. She's a manipulator. She's a bitch. What's a marriage counselor going to do except just try to convince the guy he should take her back? And probably that some of this is, wait for it, his fault. Now listen to this about her family. Uh, last Christmas, her sister got divorced after finding out her husband was having an affair. There were several family discussions about cheating at her parents' house and how low, how low her ex-brother-in-law was for betraying his wife. I can't imagine what was going through her mind sitting there j just being as guilty. How about that? Her sister got a divorce because her brother-in-law was cheating. And there was this big talk about cheating at the family thing on Christmas. And now his wife is doing the same fucking thing. The thought of leaving her kills me, but I don't think I could forgive her or ever trust her again. Bro, you can't ever trust her again. And even if you could trust her again, which you, you trust me, you're not. Why would you want to be with someone that would do this to you? And worse yet, when you had the evidence, was still lying to your face giving you shit about invading her privacy. We have been talking about kids, and I'm so glad we were still waiting. Yeah, that is if he had kids, that takes things to a whole new level. Now, that was the end of his official post for the moment. We'll be keeping an eye on that. But then in the comments section, he added lots and lots of details of what's going on behind the scenes, which is, if not actually better than the whole article. So these are responses to various questions 
You know, so he says here, in response to one guy, he says, I agreed to marriage counseling to get her to go to her sister's house and leave. She wanted to talk about what we could do to get past this, but my questions got intense and invasive and were pretty graphic. I was dragging her down a rabbit hole. I'm still making the rules, but just being vague about the end game. Hey, it worked. He got rid of her. She couldn't take the questions. Okay, I'm going out to my sister's house. Another one. He says, according to my attorney, I can I can share any of the texts. All pictures and videos must stay on my devices. If someone sees them on my devices, I'm okay. But if I send them to anyone, I can get in a hot water. Okay, I like that little loophole. So they can so someone can look at it on his computer or tablet or phone. But if he sends it, then that's the problem. My lawyer said to keep the short list until she gets served. We live in a non-fault state, but we can use them for bargaining chips later when negotiating asset allocation. Of course, they're in a no-fault divorce state. I, I have to wonder if these women look these things up in advance. Am I in that fault state or no default, no default state? Another one. He also says, uh, I spoke with a, my lawyer yesterday and the wheels are in motion. Doctor appointment is today. I called my sister-in-law that got cheated on and I'm meeting her today to tell her about her sister's affair and show her proof. Good. He's controlling the narrative. This sister, her sister is going to become an important ally here. And you may think, oh, the sisters are going to stick together. What are you talking about? Let me tell you, I have seen some of the most... It's at a whole new level of competition when it comes to sisters. Let me tell you. And I'm sure some of you guys have dated had wives or girlfriends and have sisters and the whole competition thing between sisters, God Almighty. And this sister's marriage is ruined because her husband was cheating and now this chick is doing the same thing. She could become an ally, actually. But be careful. I've told a few of our friends so far, but haven't seen that many since I found out. We're invited to a big barbecue party this week. Curious if she shows up for that. Well, she's about to be barbecued herself. Another one. He also says, uh, if I hadn't found the phone, I would have never guessed she was cheating. Literally no other red flags. That's what so many of these guys say. You know, a lot of times in the past, there were always red flags. The guy could connect the dots saying, oh, she was always glued to her phone. She was always staying out late. But it's like they've become uh, more clever as time has gone on, probably watching these videos. And they cover their tracks better. And, but now, nowadays, you got to look for the red flag. you got to dig for them. It's crazy. The phone repair guy was great, but if I had been able to access it and she, she wouldn't have opened up for me, then the result would have been the same. No good reason to have a hidden second phone. Exactly. Another one. I already reached out to the affair partner's wife and told her what I know. She wants to meet and get copies of their text messages before she confronts him. She has suspected he has cheated, but never found anything to prove it. I love it. I love this guy, man. The sister-in-law. Now he's going to the wife of the dude that's been porking his wife. He should. She deserves to know, have all the evidence. And quite frankly, I think it's only justified that once the dust settles his divorce, he should go, if, if she's attractive, of course, he should go bang the fucking wife of the guy that was banging his wife. Eye for an eye. Another one. The people that I've told about the situation are my closest friends, but I'm sure it will get back to her and she knows it's coming. I'm sure her sister is going to light her up after she finds out. I haven't told the gossip mongers in our group yet, but they will find out and then everyone will know. Every group has a gossip monger. He says, also, I've already told several people at the gym. I've had a lot of people come up to me and say how sorry they are for me, but our membership there is only good till the end of the month anyway. At last one, he says, they both knew she was married because they had to sneak around during the day and they, never and they talked about me several times. Oh my God. So not only are both the dudes married. And that's probably her little insurance policy to make sure they didn't get too attached to her and blab. Who knows? But the fact that they're talking shit about him. that I hear that all the time in the messages that the guys discover. Them trashing the husband and stuff like that. It's terrible. Well, anyhow, thank God he went to the Apple store and got the guy, got the guy to dig into her phone. Well, no, it was an Android. He went to the tech guy who handled the Android and found all that stuff. Holy crap. You think she would have been smart enough to get another freaking another iPhone so it wouldn't be as obvious on the on the um, on the app. But anyhow, guys, there you go. So what are the two big things we can take away from the story? Number one, you have a girlfriend, you have a wife. It won't be a bad idea to check 
you know, your Wi-Fi and see what devices are connected to it just in case. You know, really make sure, because I know you can have a household with a ton of shit attached to it. You know, your phones, your computers, you know, your TVs, but check them all and, and make sure, you know, make sure the things add up. It's a really important thing. And two, it's good to have a tech guy on your side. And that guy who helped him out deserves a six-pack every week for a, for a freaking year for helping this guy. I mean, look what would have happened if he didn't discover that. So I wish this guy the best. And I'm going to be keeping an eye out for an update here. And if you see an update before I do, guys, let me know I pre and send it on over. All right, guys, that was it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.